Hello friends! In my previous video I have made the charging adapters for the large batteries designed for drill drivers, angle grinders, etc. Like this one and this one. And here are their adapters. As you know they are made with the help of hot glue gun and such silicone sticks. But after that I decided to make portable hot glue gun. Something like that. However, this model is designed only for mains voltage. Of course, it's possible to disassemble this device and replace the heater. However, I have got another one. So there is no need to replace any heater here. But the inscription data here don't correspond to the reality. More precisely, the wattage of both devices amounts to 40 watts, and as to the mains version, it can be used approximately in 3 minutes after you turn it on. As to this car version, you need approximately 7 or even 8 minutes. According to the second line, we have 12 volts and 4 amps, so 48 watts. But I've measured the current during the operation of this device and it amounted to approximately 2 amps, sometimes a little bit more than 2 amps. So in case of 2 amps its power amounts to 24 watts and its maximum power doesn't exceed 30 watts. But because of this car plug, we can suppose that the device is designed for vehicles and their internal operation voltage may vary from 12 up to 24 volts. But anyway, according to the inscription, here we have 12 volts. And taking into consideration of this automobile plug, we can conclude that the device can operate at the voltage range from 10 or 11 volts up to even 13.5 volts. So if this device cannot provide the corresponding heating in case of 12 volts, it will be operated on 13.5 volts. And exactly that's why the following 12 volt batteries are not acceptable in this case. So we will use exactly this one. We use two 20 volt batteries in parallel. Minus and plus and minus and plus. And of course for usage of this hot glue gun we need to decrease the voltage. And for this purpose we will use DC-DC converter. But besides the battery is too powerful, I decided to save its energy. The melting temperature range of this silicone is from approximately 70 degrees up to 105-107 degrees. Of course the device becomes too heavy, but the additional 50 grams for temperature control really will not affect the total weight. There are some decent devices of very famous companies with the internal battery installed here or even here, but the first disadvantage is their extremely high price and the second disadvantage is that the devices have no long-lasting battery. But if you have drill drivers or angle grinders, the operation voltage of which amounts to more than 15 volts, well, this video may be really helpful for you. Now about the connection. So here we have the hot glue gun, 20 volt battery, DC-DC converter and thermal regulator. Well, the DC-DC converter is connected to the battery with the help of two wires and a power switch. Well, the minus wire from DC-DC converter output goes both to the thermal regulator and to the hot glue gun. The plus wire from DC-DC output goes to the plus wire of the thermal regulator and at the same time it goes to the one of the relay contacts. In case of low temperature, these two contacts are connected to each other and this plus is connected to the hot glue gun. But besides this switch, why do we need another one? In case we adjust the maximum temperature of approximately 105 degrees, well, the thermal regulator will of course disconnect this device from this one. But in some cases you may have a continuous job. And in this case disconnection of these two devices is not acceptable. Of course it's also possible to use the third switch and in case this second switch is on, the third switch here will turn the thermal regulator off. But the thermal regulator, besides its main function, also monitors the temperature, which is useful and even necessary when the second switch is on. As to the thermal sensor, we will disassemble the hot glue gun and install the thermal sensor 
approximately here. As to the battery connection, I decided not to damage this one and made another adapter. Here, as you see, the wires are in parallel, so we use both batteries inside. But besides the hot glue gun, it would be difficult to install these two devices. And I have made another adapter and modified it with the help of the plastic cards. So you can see the difference. Here we will have the DC DC converter, and here the thermal regulator. First of all, let's disassemble the hot glue gun. Also, we will need the thermal paste here. And now let's check its temperature changes. Let's turn it off and temporarily use this battery. Now let's turn it on. You have one amp and the current increases. So here we have the maximum wattage, approximately 25 watts. What about the temperature here? 105, 106, 107. Uh, this is the maximum for this device. So the maximum temperature will be 110 degrees and the minimum temperature will be 90 degrees. Because the device is a bit slow and in fact it is not 40 watts but only 25 watts. As to the epoxy glue, it doesn't melt. It's really okay. And we can adjust the maximum temperature 105 degrees in order not to overheat this one. Now the device is off, but the maximum temperature amounts to 115, 114, 113. Now this device should be on. 110, very close, 109, 109. the thermal regulator should be more precise, yes, 110, it's okay. So the minimum temperature will amount to 85 degrees and the maximum temperature will amount to 105 degrees.
everything is correct, so let's disconnect the battery. Let it be 13 and 5 volts. And amps are the maximum. Let's check anyway. Well, this is 12 volt bulb.
let's wait more than 110 degrees as to this device the maximum temperature is 30 degrees it's excellent Twenty nine, but we've forgotten to install the main switch. Well, the device is almost ready except some design changes and now it's final check here everything is okay let's turn this off well this is off and this is also off well, this is the main switch power switch and in case of this position the device anyway works despite the condition of the thermal regulator. It's on. The device is a bit warm. Now let's turn it on. So blue, red, the load. Maximum temperature. One, two, three, four, ready. Now it's red because all this switch is on. The minimum load, blue. device works and here we have already 106 so in case of continuous working temperature decreases But it still works. Slowly, but works. Approximately one degree difference. Only one degree. And then the temperature increases. So, in case of the powerful battery, I mean not 2 amp hour but 4 amp hour battery the lower limit can be not 90 but even 95 degrees let's adjust it now, the only thing I would like to add to this device is a cover for this DC-DC converter 
most likely a transparent one. And the load. Now the device is on. And finally about the advantages and the disadvantages. Well, the first advantage is that the device is portable. Well, the second advantage depends on your drill driver or an angle grinder. So it depends on the capacity of its battery. As for the disadvantages, I can mention the dimensions and the weight, but the weight still depends on the battery. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.